All right, so I just got back from the theater. I saw Madam Web, the latest in these uh, Sony, I want to say universe, but in their series of movies where they're making spinoffs of Spider-Man side characters in a universe that doesn't have a Spider-Man in it, um, which is an interesting choice. Not saying it couldn't work. Um, however, it's not working. Um, if you're watching this video, then you're probably no stranger to the fact that Madam Web has bombed critically and it seems with audiences. People are not responding well to this movie and I am one of them. Uh, this movie was not very good and honestly, as I was watching it, I spent less time thinking about the actual movie itself and more about how we got here. Like, how did we as a society let superhero movies get to this point again? Because many people are making the comparison that these Sony live action movies are basically exact, the exact same type of superhero movies that we got before the MCU existed. I'm talking Daredevil, Elektra, Fantastic Four, uh, Catwoman, um, all, all the bad ones, right? Obviously, we had a couple hidden gems in there. Like, well, not hidden, but a couple gems. Like, you know, the same Raimi Spider-Man movies or the first few X-Men movies. You know, then we got Batman Begins and then superhero movies got good. But now, it's like time is a circle. We've forgotten how to make good superhero movies. We just don't know how to do them anymore. Apparently, the only one who still knows how to make a good superhero movie is James Gunn. Because that was the only good superhero movie last year. I don't know. Maybe Deadpool and Wolverine will be good. I hope so. I really do. But as of right now, it's just been we're back in the wasteland that we were before the MCU existed. So I don't know how a studio, Sony, can make such garbage live action movies. And yet, just down the road, their animation studio is making these masterpieces called Into the Spider-Verse and Across the Spider-Verse. Like, how could the same studio be like, oh yeah, these are both good, right? Clearly mm -hmm. one is better than the other. I don't, I don't understand this. But anyway, this, the movie of itself, Madam Web, is, it's not really worth talking that much about because it's, it's boring. It's not as bad as other bad superhero movies, okay? It's not as weirdly cringy as Morbius is, at least in my opinion, but it's not very good. And it's just going through the motions. Uh, it's a lot like the Marvels in that way, where the Marvels felt like as generic of an MCU movie as you could get, where it's like, all right, well, let's have a couple jokes. Let's have some character moments and we're going to have a fight at the end and our villain is going to be whatever and the story is going to be kind of whatever, and it's just going to come in one ear and out the other. This is almost the exact same thing, except if it came out in 2004. Um, the villain is not worth mentioning. He's pointless. He They don't explain anything about him. They don't explain his motivations. They don't explain how he has this spider suit. They don't explain, they don't explain why he has that. Um, because this movie, spoiler alert, if you care takes place before the birth of Peter Parker, right? Peter Parker's mom is currently pregnant with Peter Parker, and they're, you know, they're pretending that's some big reveal that everybody can see coming. But if that's true, then there should not be someone who has a Spider-Man suit before Peter Parker is born, right? Peter Parker has always been the first Spider-Man, and everybody kind of bases their own Spider-Man personas off of him, right? I don't have a problem with certain characters existing before he did, but they offer no explanation as to why he has a Spider-Man suit before Spider-Man existed. It doesn't make any sense. They don't explain why he's evil or what he wants, the trailers try to make it seem like he is some emissary from the future and these three girls are dangerous. But spoiler alert, no, he's just trying to protect his own life because he has visions from the future that they're going to murder him one day. All right. So this is all in self-preservation. And we know from the beginning that he's bad. So there is no interesting layers in this movie at all. Bad guy, bad. Good guy, good. Good guy can see the future. 
once you see her do it a couple times, they don't do anything interesting with it after that. Once you see her seeing to the future, you know exactly what's going to happen because we just saw it. Other movies where people see into the future, good ones, do something interesting with it after you get used to it for a while. Maybe they get it wrong one time, or they reveal that there's multiple different futures and you did this one, but you should have done this one. They add an interesting layers. This movie doesn't do anything interesting with it. It's just she can see into the future and there you go. Uh, there's just so much wrong with this movie. But I don't really want to talk about it anymore because it's just, it doesn't deserve it. it. It's just, this movie doesn't deserve any money. Don't go watch it. Sony and other studios need to learn that these types of lazy superhero movies just can't exist. All right? It's, we're gonna, we're going, we've, we're not going back, we are in it. We are back in the dark ages of superhero movies. Hopefully the new DC universe can save us if it's good. Maybe the MCU can figure its stuff out and we can get back to the glory days. But I hate to admit it, but right now we are in the dark ages and we need to pull out of it. And movies like Madam Web with its awful script and mediocre directing and just all around complacency and laziness and no originality whatsoever is not it. It's not going to do it. So, yes, don't spend your money on this movie. It is... Go watch... I haven't seen Bob Marley One Love yet, but I can guarantee you, 100%, it's definitely better than this movie. So go watch that one. Or watch Lisa Frankenstein, all right? Even that's a better movie than this. Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, the search for the first true great movie of 2024 continues but as they say we will soldier on and look for better days ahead